what in the heck happened to my Dexcon G7 sensor with the bluey patch that I installed three to four days ago? Let's find out why that the sensor did not work. So here we go. Hi guys, Core Express, you here on TikTok and YouTube. Thank you guys for tuning in on what's going on with my Dexcon G7 sensor. I have some devastating news, but before I begin on this video, please make sure to follow me on TikTok and follow me and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never know what's going to happen like this video and other videos on both platforms. So without further ado, let's get started. What the heck happened to my Dexcon G7 sensor that I just installed on the, the third of this month? And I'm going to show you guys what happened to my sensor that actually reads my, my readings for my blood sugar. Well, I have some devastating news. On the third day of the session, it stopped working. If you guys did not see the video on TikTok, please check it out for yourself. If you're on YouTube, please go to my TikTok page and, and look for the Dexcon G7 sensor that is installed and failed on the app. I had multiple attempts to re- Entered the code. Unfortunately, things did not look good. And I'm going to tell you the story why that the sensor kind of failed. I was heading to my new job about two days ago, because now it's like, what, three, now, three, four days now. And I was going to my job site as normal. You know, I was traveling in the van. The Dexcom read a very low reading and I thought my sugar was low I thought I wasn't feeling good and then it says urgent low and it was ringing three times on the receiver that I have and the phone itself was pretty daggone loud so to myself, how can I fix this during my shift? I couldn't, so I had to turn off my both of my devices just to try to see if I can go home and un, you know try to rip it off my skin and, and clean the skin and everything. I couldn't do that. So what I did is took the sensor off, turned the turned the both devices off, and then hopefully I can be able to reattempt to put a new one but i'm waiting for the new you know date so i could be able to put a new patch on so meaning that you know the sensor is no longer working i don't know if it got fried i don't know if it got overheat or if constantly reading my blood sugars i don't know what's what happened but i did call Dex dexcom and explain what happened. I am going to be getting a replacement sensor because I have a 30 day supply. And, and since the sensor already is defected, I lost my bluey patch with the cover and the sensor because of whatever happened to the sensor. I still have the sensor here and I'm gonna mark this as this defected. So meaning I lost five dollars of this patch. So I'm trying to reorder the $15 pack that I ordered from Amazon pretty soon. But I am going to start a new session for the sensor. So stick by for that. It's going to be part four. 
That's good. That's might either happen on the 12th of this month or the 13th. And I might just go over the grace period anyway. So that way I can be able to put on a new sensor, do all everything all over again. And maybe it will work with the new patch. I'm still going to use the blue patch as a support for my arm or so, or my other arm or whatever place at because I think it might it overheat. I don't know. Um, but I am going to get a replacement for free. So thanks, um, thank you so much for replacing my sensor. I don't know when and what time are they going to ship it, but hopefully it'll be here in no time. But I'm devastated. <laughs> I'm really devastated. And uh, I don't want to ramble up too. Uh, I don't want to ramble too much, but I'll keep you guys updated as far as shipping goes. And then the new Dexcon sensor comes in, and hopefully you guys understand what's happened. I've been struggling for a few days, so that's why I have this video up a little late than normal because I'm working like nonstop trying to get everything financially stable. And ready to go. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to follow my TikTok page, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never know what's going on like this video. And of course, I will see you guys on both platforms. But until then, Core Express 2, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys either the 12th, 13th, or the 14th of June. So I can replace the with the new sensor on my arm, and I do appreciate you guys to see all my Dexcon stuff because I work hard trying to do that and get you guys update on my sugar levels and a lot of uh, updates on the readings too. But anyway, Corey's fast too. I'll see you guys later.